Hey everyone, Magic Lover recording a little Legacy one-on-one -on -one action. And we are playing our Cheerios Kobold Zero Drop Base Storm Deck. And let's see what we've got. No mana source. I'm going to mull it. Mana source, a glimpse, and zeros. I will keep it. And since we're on the play... Uh, I might just go for it out of the gate here. Three... Now, you know what? I'll roll the dice that my opponent does not have a turn one thought sees. Because if he doesn't, it greatly increases my odds of going off. That mulligan hurt. If I had one less land... Oh, this is going to hurt. It's going to fetch an underground C. Ooh. Yay. I'll take that. Of course, probably means we're rugged over. And they'll have a stifle or a daze or a counterspell or something. So days I can pay for um, counter, I obviously, hard counter. Like a force, I can't. So, we'll crack that. <coughs> we'll see where our three little guys get us. And we do eat a force, of course. Now at this point I am going to hold off because if I draw another um, like a personal tutor or another uh, oh. let's see I've already got one in the yard I'm not worried about casting the grape shot here I am carrot cast worried about casting the personal tutor so ah if on command. I'll leave that up there so I know he knows what I've got coming. Yeah, that's okay. That's why we do play with the basic forest in here. The breeding pool served its purpose. Okay. See if he's got a daze or a force. Survey says another force. The exile this time. Two ponders. Two force, two ponders. So at this point, uh, what's he gonna be doing? Gonna be four six a turn. I'll run the really low odds of drawing another force, or another glimpse. So, that was our that was our two bites at the apple. We're pretty much done at this point. Um, yeah. Eh. One, two, three, four... Nope. can at least kill one of them. Uh, artifact, make it a five. Two, three, four, five. Let's see if he stifles the last one for show. Actually buys us enough time. Yeah. Take that, midnight. Get in for one. It's 
guy's gonna get peeved eventually with me just running out of chumps. So I'll take the hit here. I mean, this game's all but over. I believe in playing to your outs, especially when a couple tickets are on the line, but let's be honest. Probably would have been better to concede after the second four so we didn't see more of my deck. And... I'll actually chump here. Because if I hit runner, runner, which means zero drop and a glimpse, I might actually pull it out. Highly unlikely does not begin to cover it, but we'll give it a shot. Now it doesn't change much, I still have to chump here. So, we are going to go with the 100% um, combo option, which is we bring in four chalice, four presence, we ditch the we ditch that side of it the tutor sign, and one less sky shroud. What we have to be careful of here is a red source to catch the grape shot. We still have the secondary in Beastmaster, but we do have to be careful because of a chalice for zero before we get any red source, and he wastelands our one stopping round. We cannot grape shot. So, anywho. Uh, let's, you know what, for that reason, I might just drop that in there. Now, he's got enough stifles and, hmm, could try that. Nah, I want the freebie, I don't want to, I want to dip down too much. Okay. Uh, ch 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 yeah, we need to play first so he doesn't have Stifle or Daze available. That would have been a great hand if we had a glimpse. So we'll mull. That has a glimpse and no land, but it's got two of them. So. We're just going to pass the turn. And hopefully... Draw a green source in our first three. That's good. Means he doesn't have stifle in hand. I don't think he would have played it. If this doesn't flip, it gives us a lot of time. That's nice. So, there's no way he kept a seven lander that didn't have stifle or force. So I can count on at least one force. that will at least force these to flip or I can kill them in combat. So he'll either have to, you know, hopefully I can get, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so maybe smart play, fetches after one, and he catches one. That probably means he's got two forces too. That's a bummer. <coughs> the reason that card is so expensive.
might be forced to deal with that. Um, eh. I'll throw that out. Try to stop the bleeding. Hopefully this does not flip. Oh, it oh, it's, it's a third force. Well, maybe the other three cards aren't blue either. No, he's got to have six blue cards in hand. Actually, only saves him one damage. I think would have been better off bolting me. So now I just block him. See if we see a uh, no, no green source the whole game. Hmm. That's a bummer. How many do we have? Seventeen sources. Huh. You'd think out of ten we would have seen one. Just under a third mana. That's our last flyer. So, yeah, this is normal for this deck, unfortunately. It's uh, had two real good bites at the apple the first game. He had forces both time. And uh, game two. Ooh. Boy, I wish I would have had. Wish I would have had that. Dang. Is it worth even casting if I get a couple zeros down? So I do have to... I can't stop him, so if he's got a bolt out of those six cards he's got me. Um, it's probably academic at this point. Throw six in the air, finishes off with a bolt, and we're good. Mongoose gets to stay home and party. There you are. Stifle? <laughs> Just kidding. Had to be a fetch, right? On one life? Oh well. So, let's see. Eh? Wow. It was not happening. Oh well.